Hey guys, welcome to the Motor Suspension YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fit an NA air shaft system to a 2013-2015-34 fork. This can replace the standard float or a talus system. The NA air shaft system we're about to fit is the same as what you'll find in the award winning 36. To carry out this job, you will need a 28mm chamfer socket to undo your top caps, an 8mm and a 13mm crush washer, a pick to remove your smiley ring, a rubber mallet, a high pressure shock pump, a 32 and a 34 damper removal tool, a ratchet, a torque wrench, a retrofit NA air shaft, a 10 and a 50 mil socket to undo your base nuts, 28 gold to replace the oil, and some slick honey grease. To start off, we'll remove the adjuster from the fork and release the air. Push down on the strader valve. Once the air has been released, to start off by removing the adjuster, use a 2 mil Allen key. Now on the cartridge size, this uses a 15 mil. Just wind that off. And on the air side, we'll use a 10 mil. We're now ready to fit your removal tools, your damper removal tools. Thread these on about three quarters of the way. When you remove your lowers, oil is going to come out of the fork. So have an oil tray, bucket, anything ready to catch all the oil. Get your rubber mallet. If you hold the lower, hold that firmly in place, then we your mallet. Firm tap on the damper removal tool on both sides. And once they've been knocked into place, you're ready to unwind them. A little tip is to have your oil tray ready. And as you lower the forks, you can slide your lowers off. And catch all. You are now ready to remove your top cap. Can't stress this enough, make sure all the pressure, all the air is out of the fork. To remove the top cap, you're going to need a 28mm socket. And the best way to remove the top cap is to place the socket on top of the top cap. Get your right hand, hold the crown with your thumb over the ratchet. Bring the fork into your chest. Start to unwind the top cap. On top of the air piston inside, you have got some float fluid. Now, if the fork is off your bike, you can easily tip it upside down and empty the float fluid, or get a bit of soft paper towel, just put it in the top of the stanchion, to stop it from coming out, and then lift the fork up to remove your smiley ring. Locate the end of the smiley ring. Now use your pick, a dog-legged pick is preferred. Now, be very careful not to damage anything around it. Just get behind the smiley ring. If you just pull on your air shaft, slide that out, your neg plate will also come out. Now you're ready to remove the whole air shaft assembly just by pulling it through. And that's your air shaft. The whole stanchion is now empty. It's the perfect opportunity to clean the inside of your stanchion. There's no need to use any sort of water, any sort of soap. Just use a soft, clean paper towel, put it into the top of the stanchion. Now use something which is non-metallic. I have some nylon and just push that rag through. Now we're ready to fit the air shaft. Remove the base nut and the crush washer, which comes fitted to the air shaft. Pop that to one side. Then using slick honey, coat the air piston and also the seal around the neg plate with a nice thick layer of slick honey. And once you have done that, slide it into the lower of the stanchion, pushing the neg plate into place. Now we're about to fit the top assembly, so just remove the adjuster. And now you've got to grease up the transfer shaft. Again, using some slick honey, just a light layer of slick honey on that. 
Right, you now have to guide this into the lower rear shaft assembly. So the best thing to do is to slide that up. It just makes it a bit easier. And then look from the top and just guide it into the lower rear shaft assembly. Wiggle into place. Start to do your top cap up. Wind the top cap on all the way as you can by your hand. Then get your torque wrench and set it to 228 inch pounds. That's 24.8 Newton meters. So with that set, again, using your 28 mil chamfer socket, place your socket on top of the top cap, holding the crown with your thumb over the top of the ratchet, bring the fork into your chest. This is just so it doesn't slip. Now it's time to add your pressure. I'm going to be putting about 60 PSI back into the fork. Your fork, you'll notice that the shaft has extended. A little tip for when you uh, pop your lowest back on is to extend your cartridge so it's easier to locate the base nuts through the bottom of the lowers. So now I'm ready to fit the lowers. I'm just going to give the wiper seals a quick wipe out with some clean, soft paper towel again. And once they are clean, again, using your slick honey, just a small amount of slick honey, just wipe around on the inside of the wiper seal. Once you have done that, wipe off any excess grease on the top of the seal. Now you're ready to fit to the lowers. So slide them onto the forks and when you get to your stanchions, start off with the back, just give them a little wiggle and they'll slide on. Slide the lowers up and down the stanchion just so you make sure you haven't pinched the foam ring and they're moving freely. So we're about to add the fluid to the fork now. We're using 28 gold. The air side will use 10 cc and the cartridge side will use 30 cc. To add this to the fork, we're gonna use a syringe. So we'll start off with the air side first, followed by the cartridge side. So when adding the fluid to your fork, just have a rag ready, just to catch any excess fluid, which comes out onto the lower. Now add 20 weight gold oil to the cartridge side. And again, have a rag ready for any excess fluid coming out onto the lower. And once you have done that, you can slide your lowers further on, going nice and slowly until the base nuts poke through. You can now fit your crush washers. So it's your 8mm crush washer on the air side and your 13mm crush washer on the cartridge side. Follow up then with your base nuts. So your crush washers on, do your base nuts up. Again, the air size uses a 10 mil. And the cartridge size will use a 15 mil. And once you have done your base nuts up, don't forget to fit your rebound adjuster back on to the lower of the cartridge. There is a little indent on the meter rod. So just match that up with a grub screw using a two mil Allen key. Just tighten them back up. And you've carried out the job. So now we fitted the NAA shaft. It's an awesome upgrade to transform your 34 fork. The NAA shaft will give you the opportunity to add the volume spacers to make your fork feel more progressive and a bit more bottom out resistance. And also it's quite easy to change the travel as well. Don't forget to subscribe.